guys, this is Shrek on Helsing from Into the Gaming and welcome to my live review of The Ship Remastered. Let's go right into it. This is our HD remake, more or less, of the original The Ship, the 2007-2008 modification for Half-Life 2, if I'm not mistaken. And I love that game, I really, really do. Let's do 7 minute game, not on Batavir. Uronian. We're gonna play the arcade mode, because right now there's no one playing it online, and I have kind of a shitty connection, so if I can play offline, I will play it. And we're gonna play with the bots, and they play right well, more or less really well. So, let's get everything, the main difference of this game, out of the way right now. The game looks fantastic, it's made with the Unity engine, not with the Source engine, and it's gorgeous, it's basically the exact same maps from the original The Ship, only in HD with even more features, with more lightning effects and things like that, and the game looks great, however, it doesn't perform very well, it really doesn't. Uh, right now, for example, it's around 30 FPS and it's on the fastest, fastest setting, oh well. Still, you can also see your character's feet, I think we're a woman right now, yes, we are, we're always a woman, Virginia Ablos. Take everything that you can. And there are some minor changes, and I hope they fix them. For example, you can't close the doors right now. Uh, corridor D. Who's that woman? Hello, sir. Christina, Jeanette, hola! Madame, bonsoir. Comment tu t'appelles? Je veux, veux parler de... Je ne sais pas. Why, why am I trying to speak French? I have push, yep. Fuck you, bitch! And it constantly lags when I try to kill them. It's incredibly freaking frustrating. Oh shit! Hit the wrong guy! Kill her. And I don't think you can also pick up money from their dead bodies, which is really a shame because I really enjoyed the fact that you can actually take the wallets from someone else. They're all killing each other. Some guys didn't try to kill me. Uh, I need to sleep. I uh, really, really need to. In the game, of course, in the game. Um, but the, I'm really, the game is exactly the same. Your objective in the main game mode is to find your quarry, to find your target and kill him. But at the same time, you're being hunted by someone else. So it's basically a cat and mouse game. It's a back and forth. Kill one guy, kill another guy, and so on and so forth. And it's a very, very great gameplay mechanic. I love it. It's fantastic, and I do think it's one of the best multiplayer games I've ever played. It's probably in the, my top 20, easily. Not top 10, top 20. But, yeah, unfortunately the main problem that I have with this game is that, compared to the other one, we're not talking about the content even though it's in early access. There is enough content to really enjoy it. But it's just... I don't know. The performance just drags the game down for me, and for a lot of other players as well. Because as you can see, the maps are usually improved, and I love how the sea looks. It looks fantastic. And the sound design is also really great as well. I love, love listening to it. Especially with the new headphones that I got. The music playing in the background. It brings up some really great memories from uh, when I first played the game. You have a new quarry. I don't know where I am. Deck B, I have to go to Deck B, so it's upstairs, I guess. Taxi stairwell. Stairwell to heaven. No, Rodney. Booker. There's a guy going downstairs, I think. Must go to sleep. Fuck you. You do not wanna go to sleep. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, sleep. Oof. And even though I set them on low, if I'm not mistaken, fuck me, they're still really really, really fast. They go down extremely easy, and I really don't enjoy that. I really, really don't. Uh, where the hell is he? Booker. Booker is a ma male name. He's still on the staircase. Maybe on the other... Hmm. Are there other uh, stairwells? 60 seconds. Fuck me. 
and no one is hunting me. I think only twice or three times someone actually found me. Promenade deck. With this that woman. No. Oh, that's the guy, I guess. And he does jack shit. Fucking kill me. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, some of the AI isn't even all that fantastic, to be honest. Kind of disappointing. But yeah, the game is in early access, so everyone is using that. Uh, in my opinion, honestly, I think if you have never ever played the ship, why don't you buy this one? It's very solid, it's a very fun game. I do think you should check it out, but if you have played the original and you still have it, don't buy this game right now, actually wait before buying it, it's not worth it right now, especially because in the other game you have you have all the content, the entire content, there are no differences whatsoever, excluding the graphics and also it's, you can only play with four other players online if I'm not mistaken, you're almost forced to play on LAN and who plays on LAN nowadays? Some people still do, some people still do, but not everyone which is really a shame but still guys you're seeing the score of the game right now on the screen uh, it's a good game definitely a really really well done game even though the performance is still kind of crap but being it's in, in its early access state if you have the original game don't buy this one corridor XC I want I, I wanna drink a second let's try play oh lay no 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 Netto, netto, net. We are in corridor deck C, right? I think we are. Yep. Who's that? Rodney. Oh! Too many people, too many people. <laughs> Why there's not. Oh shit. All that sound effects. Missing. Yeah. Sterile Dexy. Like, oh, no, oh, no. Oh. And no one has tried to kill me yet. Which is really a shame. It's this guy. It's this guy. Tell me it's Nettle. Oh, fuck you. Ah, uh, yeah. Now we're just gonna fall asleep, and I think that's enough for this episode. Honestly, guys, this is the game. So, have you played the original ship? Do you want to play it? Tell me in the comments below. Thanks as always for watching or to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.